And Shu is great. Shu is so great, and this experience made me really appreciate him even more than I already do. Because no matter what was going on, no matter what we needed to be doing on that day, he was always there. He was always ready. He was always like ready to go, and he was always getting other people in like the right place they need to be. Like he's very much. A managerial type where he's able to sort of make sure that people are up to speed and doing what they need to do but it never ever ever feels condescending like he's just such a genuinely helpful passionate person who's always like doing exactly the right thing that needs to be done for that time he's in fact so so organized that there was one time um that we needed to go that we needed to leave very early. Um, we need to leave very early. And um, and manager uh, came to um, came to pick came to pick us up and asked, Does, "Has Shu messaged you yet? Is he is he ready to go?" And in my head, I genuinely I didn't hear the word Shu. I was like, uh, who, "Who are we waiting for?" And they were like, "And they were like, we're waiting for Shu." And I was like, "Sorry, what?" And it turns out that maybe for the first time in history. Shu had overslept, and I went up to his. I went up to his room, and I and I and I knocked on the door to wake him up. And uh, it turns out that his his alarm hadn't gone off, and a very very narrow eyed Shu creaked open the door, and he was like, "Huh?" And I really think that the that that moment especially spoke so much to how reliable of uh, of a person. Uh, friend, co-worker, whatever that he is, because when faced with the idea that he might have overslept once, um, my br I genuinely couldn't believe it. To the point where when they said when they said that he did that, I genuinely couldn't believe that it was him. To the point where I assumed they must have been talking about somebody else. So he's he's fantastic, and uh, like all of the appreciation that I have for someone who's that put together and that hardworking, um, it really like. The, the, going going away like this, it, it compacted that feeling so much, and I appreciate him so much as like as a member of of Luxium and how much he's how much he's like been able to to push us to do. He's also very cute when he drinks. Um, <laughs> I remember we went to um, we went to dinner at one point, and um, we were separated across two different tables. And I was sat, and I was having my drink, and I was eating my meat. And then I look over, and and she was just kind of like. Like he's just sort of lean back. He's had like uh what is it like some kind of some kind of alcoholic beverage and he's just very relaxed and I was like oh I was I was I was glad that he was that he was just he was he was sat there feeling very relaxed surrounded by incredible company as we were as we were mm -hmm.